Hey YouTube, this is Doug Green Cabby. Today we're gonna to do an update on our aquaponic system. We have actually been trying to do some videos recently, but we haven't had the opportunity to. So, you know, our water has turned green. I don't know if you can see that, but our water has turned green. And the reason it is, is because this has been exposed to the sun and it has allowed a algae bloom to bloom in here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to wash our rocks today and we're going to put them in here so that we don't have any more problems with algae so that our fish will not be angry at us but we wanted to show you our media guard basically what you do is you get a pipe that is going to be larger than your bell siphon and what we did is we put uh, big holes at the bottom because we're gonna have large rocks so the water goes uh, faster and then we have small holes at the top and basically what it allows it to do is the water to go in so that it has the ability uh, to go through the bell siphon and then your rocks won't get washed in or caught in there. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have large rocks on the bottom and small rocks on the top. We're gonna wash those today. Uh, we've been waiting for the opportunity to be able to wash the rocks and then put them in here, but we wanted to make a video on the media guard. Super easy, just drill small holes on the top, large ones on the bottom, and as you see here, we gave it a little extra little thing here at the bottom so that any kind of particulates can get sucked out so that they don't build up in the bottom. So it's a rough and crude design, but it works and uh, we're getting ready to do the flushing right now so we'll show you all right so uh, it's filled up to the top of the media guard here and we're getting ready to get our siphon going now while we're waiting for our siphon to get going remember one drawback of just having the fish tank and having the pump in the fish tank up to the grow beds is that as you see the water level gets really really low uh, so what we're going to be installing next week is we're going to be installing a swirl filter with a sump tank on the side so that the clean water comes up from the sump tank to the grow beds and then when it filters down from the grow beds it goes back into the fish tank and then it filters then the sump tank so then you won't have to have uh, the problem of your water getting really low uh, you'll have constant height in your fish tank at all times and uh, you will be pulling the water from the sump tank so that uh, your fish are always happy. And like I said, we're going to be getting rid of our algae problem this week so that we don't have any problems with our fish being mad at us. Alright, we'll get back to you when it's a little bit closer of getting down. Got planes flying by, waving at our fish. Kind of looks like a little fish flying in the sky. Got a little puppy who's enjoying fish company. Now the great thing about having your grow beds draining directly into your fish tank, you will never have a problem with oxygenation. You see all the bubbles all the way around, how it's hitting the water. It's oxygenating the water so that the fish have plenty of oxygen to breathe. Alright, so we're getting kind of close to the end. So it's filling up, you see it's coming down. And uh, just imagine this filled with rocks because what we're going to do is we're going to add our media today. And what it's doing is it's, it's seeping in through these holes and it's going down to the bottom as it drains. And when it gets to the bottom, it will actually break the siphon and allow it to be able to start filling up again. And we'll see that it will cut off here and it actually breaks the siphon really well. And the great thing is, is once we have our rocks and media out here, you know, we're gonna be able to clean this out first and then we won't have this problem anymore when we have uh, this because all the particulates will be eaten up by the microbes and then we'll also have the swirl filter over here to get out any kind of particles that we don't want in the system. Alright, so it's getting to the bottom here and real quick it's going to go ahead and break the siphon in a second. Okay, and you see how it blew out there? That was breaking the siphon, and you see here, it's not coming out anymore out of this guy. 
All right, well, thank you so much for watching our update on the aquaponics. Next time you see it, we'll have media in the top. Remember, we're gonna have large rocks in the bottom, small rocks in the top, and you wanna make sure your standpipe's at least an inch below your media so that you don't get algae growth and you don't get uh, algae blooms. All right, once again, thank you so much for watching. This is The Green Cabbie from thegreencabbie.com. And as always, please give us a big thumbs up, throw it on Google Plus and Facebook, share it with your friends and family, and make sure that you share the knowledge so that we can live a greener life. We'll talk to you soon.